Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to the video, guys. We're going to be looking at Erlenberg today. And Erlenberg is actually a really good map for lights, believe it or not. Um, it's not the best. I'm not saying it's it's one of the greatest maps out there, but this map is actually decent. I like this map because of its size, right? Um, and I think a lot of people dislike this map, but if you know how to play it, I'm telling you, you're going to have a good time on this map. So this game is in particular is going to be very interesting. I'm going to show you um, why you never leave one side of the map wide open, because that's basically what these guys did here. But we're on the east side of this map, guys. And what I'm going to say is I think on this map, east is a little more important than the west side. And the reason I say this is because you have this huge line of trees back here, which if you're on the south spawn, taking this is pretty important if you're going to push the rest of the map. And also um, on the on the north side, so this is the south side of the map, but I mean for the north team, you have this area of the map, which is vital with all the foliage to be able to get shots going towards their base. So. We're sitting here, I take one shot at the uh, Pollock, I guess, and I'm noticing that nobody is over here. Like I'm looking around, I'm like, there's nobody here, guys. Like, there's nobody here. I'm not getting spotted. I come up this direction. Um, I'm not getting shot, rather, but I'm not getting spotted either coming over this direction. So I'm going to start pushing this, and what I find is that there's literally nobody over here. And sometimes you just need this awareness uh, when you're a light tank player to almost use your sixth sense um, as a tool, right? You're using your sixth sense to understand where people might be on the map. So Pollock gets um, lit there again, and... Um, I'm able to clean him up pretty easily because it's a side shot and there's no one over here and I have the right angle, right? And then sure enough, VK appears, so there actually is one person over here. But still, it's not changing all that much for me um, because I wasn't going to push this anyway without support, right? Like, I would never do that. But anyway, back to talking about this map in particular, guys. Um, I think that the east is a little bit more important. The west is harder to push. That's the problem. I think from the north spawn, it's probably a little easier to push the south because you can come up up and over this ridge line and do one of these. Pushing to the north, you have the water here. So yeah, you can come down like this and try and push through the water, but I feel like a lot of people um, in this area will have shots on you, even... Um, as you're cresting like this hill and stuff, you can be sneaky. I've seen Skill for LTU do this before, man. He'll come down like the F1 line, or, or be like right in the F1 square, right? And come down the one line, and you can kind of make it work, but it's tricky, man. Because it's just so open right here, um, and so open right here, that I feel like it's trickier um, to do so. From here, you at least you have the hill, you can get down into this area. And from over here, you can run right here and get safe into this little ditch line. But either way you go, this it, this is not an easy map to push on. So that's one of the things why I'm going to say, or one of the reasons why I'm going to say I think a lot of people dislike this map, especially light tank players, because it's very, very open. Um, and open is not good in a light tank. You want bushes everywhere. You want concealment. Um, you want foliage everywhere, right? And hardcover would also help as well. So Rudy is kind of pushing in here. I'm not sure what this guy is doing. I have a really tough time getting gun depression because of the way this ridge line works here. But this guy is basically going to come up and over um, and YOLO in. I'm not even sure what he's doing really. But, you know, this, this just happens sometimes. You get tourists and uh, this guy was a tourist. So we're going to clean him up here. Um, Rudy goes down, and now we can think about starting to push this, right? If I can eliminate the VK from this area, we could push this. However, what I'm starting to see now is look at the mid, guys. Like, see what's going on here with all the heavies are pushing in? And city is important as well. So I'm going to say that I, like I said, I think east is a little more vital, but but pushing the city is actually very effective because in the city, you actually have all these little outlets i'll call them here where you can knock trees and stay safe and get shots on people like in this whole area they'd have shots on the sioux on, they'd have shots on me um and you can also poke out this way as well um and stay relatively safe and angle out and stuff so heavies can actually make this play work however um, as they're pushing through the city like this you have shots going through these gaps so keep that in mind you know i've sit i've sat here for 
almost the whole game sometimes, and I will I will literally pick people off as they're driving through these um, buildings right here. You can shoot through the gaps of the buildings, and you will be able to get shots into them. So that's another thing. So in a way, I mean, yeah, the heavies are safe there, but they have to be mindful of where people have shots, right? So that's my take on the city. Um, it's, it's a very kind of linear path in the city right this isn't like an area that's big um, where you have multiple areas where you can poke out right there's not like multiple roads is what i'm saying um, comparing this to some of the other city maps that are literally blocks right this is just one line this way and one line this way and that's really it so you're gonna know where the heavies are right that's what i'm trying to say like there's only one road they can take so I think that makes it, um, in a way, a little more tricky maybe to stay concealed in a heavy. But again, look at all the trees over here. So you can kind of make it work, right? Um, IS-2 is here. I'm going to shoot this guy in the cap. We get it there, luckily. And then look at what's going on now, guys. The Hawk-12 and the VK are trying to push the east side of this map. So there was a lot of adjustment that I had to make here. I'm coming out to see if I can maybe get an HE shell on the Hawk-12. And then this guy starts running away. And I'm thinking maybe he's going to try and push this. But he doesn't. He actually tur he turns around and runs away. And now it's a situation where I kind of want to chase this guy down. Because I don't want their light tank going dark. Um, considering like what we have on the map. I think these guys are easily outspotted by the light tank. Um, and also the G-Sword would be as well. And he's kind of by himself out here. So... I don't want the light tank getting away. Unfortunately, he does. Dicker ends up here, and I'm trying to see if I can find a shot into this guy. The Artie is going to try a shot, and there's just no... like. This is the hardest spot to take shots from, guys, because of the way this ridge line works, you can't get any gun depression. It's very, very tricky and challenging, so instead, what I do is come all the way back up to this area of the map, and I'm looking for shots going this way, and I'm like, hmm, where is this guy? So I can't find him. He must have pulled back into the buildings or behind a bush, or tree or something over there, and I can't quite spot him. So I'm poking up, kind of almost doing what I call a spot check here to see if I'm getting lit, see if anyone's going to take a blind shot or something, and I'm not seeing anything, so eventually I'm going to start pushing in. I do get a shot at this Hummel right here with a, with an APCR round, so we hit him. And um, I think the Artie cleans him up there or something. Someone ends up cleaning him up. It was the uh, M44. So I think it really, it really has to be one of the Arties, right? No one else has shots on this guy. But at this point, I'm going to push. And we actually do find the uh, GW Panther down here, guys. Because I can see his tracer as soon as I come up and over the hill there. And I'm going to light this guy now. I'm going to light him through the bushes. I have the... Um, CVS. So I'm actually going to light him through the bushes, take my shot first so that I, you know, pretty much eliminate this guy's health almost fully. And then I only need one more shell and um, we're able to get it there. Now I have a shot at the Cheeto. So g is smacking this guy. I'm going to throw an HE shell at him and the g ends up cleaning him up as well. Um, and now we have a pretty easy game, right? Whoever just drowned or something, the, the Hawk-12 ended up drowning himself, um, so we, ne we never had to go after him. It would have been really nice if I could have HE'd the crap out of that dude, because uh, that would have been a great game for me, right? We would have probably been over 3k damage. But anyway, we're going to push the Dicker now, guys. And this is an easy win, right? There's nothing else to see here, guys. We're just surrounding the Dicker. And it's a, it's, it's a good game, right? Um, I think it was the g sword that ended up getting the kill. The ARL-44 ARL got the kill on this guy. So, we did 2630 damage. We didn't have a lot of spotting. Four kills, though. And this is what the Hawk 30 is capable of, guys. The Hawk 30 is a very mean, powerful light tank, man. Um, it hits really, really hard with HE, and even the APCRs are 240, yeah, some 240 millimeters, um, or rather... Uh, points of damage and the pen isn't bad either so that's pretty much it for Erlenberg guys uh, again I, I've been trying to make a lot of videos I know I've, I've been saying this in, in a couple other videos but I'm trying to really emphasize map awareness in some of my most recent videos and this is what you're getting on Erlenberg guys really it's just a very open map but I truly feel that a lot of light tank players are terrified of this map because it's so wide open um, again they're better maps when I say this is a really good map um, I'm not I'm not even putting it up maybe in the top five 
but when you can when you can use a map to your advantage in a light tank um you know that's to me that's a good map right you can use this map to your advantage on maps like himmelsdorf and ensk and all these tiny little maps you can't really use these maps to your advantage this map is large enough and big enough so that you can use your concealment you can use all these tree lines and bush lines and everything going on here you can flank if you have the opportunities to flank now obviously on maps like ensk you can ensk you can flank as well but i'm just not a fan of cities at all there are people that are very good in light tanks um lemming rush was one of them he loved to brawl in cities and hey man if you want to play your light tank like that go for it i'd rather play more passively and try and spot people but look at all the opportunities to you know um spot people in certain areas guys and i'm not saying you want to sit back here at the start of the battle but depending on the situation if you have someone pushing in this way you have someone pushing in this way there's all these spots i mean you can sit right here 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 um and you can sit in this whole tree line this tree line when people are pushing the base you can sit right here as well um you can sit up in this little corner there's so many places that you can sit that have foliage um and that's why i emphasize you know that i actually like this map guys um because there's a lot of people that don't and it's i will say it is very very challenging and tricky to push on this map that's one thing i don't like about it um very challenging because you're it, you're wide open here you know you're wide open here coming from the south and then you're wide open here coming from the north you're wide open here coming from the coming from the north as well um but again if you know how to manipulate maps you're going to be able to make erlenberg work trust me this is a good map for light tanks you just have to understand what's going on on the map and there's times where i play games where i'm getting hit from all kinds of directions and i'm like what the heck is going on and even i don't know what's going on but you learn quick right guys and um all I'm trying to tell you is when when you have a large map like this um, and you have a good amount of concealment, sometimes you don't even need the, the foliage and you can make the map work just by taking vital positions. Um, this is one really vital position if you're trying to push north to south. So this is a decent spot to defend from it. This is a decent spot to defend from it. Um, but hope that helps you guys out. Again, city is also pretty important on this map. So just keep in mind... Um, when people are pushing this way and you're on the north spawn, you have those shots going like this. And also, if people are pushing south, you can come back to here and you might have shots going like this. Um, but you see how there's all this foliage here, so it makes it pretty easy. Even if you're a medium to just run up like this and sit right in here and challenge people like in this area. You can do it in a light tank too, man. I can just go on and on and on. You see what I mean on this map, guys? Like all the spots that you can get into and hopefully you understand why I'm telling you that this is this is a good map. So try it out, guys. Try out um, you know, the east side of this map. Try getting into this bush right here. This was the initial bush we went into to, to light this area. Try it, guys. I promise you if you just really look take an overview and and you know look at this map and understand where all the spots are um, for you to be spotting safely um, you're gonna you're probably gonna have a good game on this map man you just have to be able to adjust to certain situations like the hawk 12 and vk came out of nowhere and we ended up having to sit back in here right so again i can go on and on and on and on guys but i hope this helps you out so let's get a look at the end plates and um I'll let you guys go. So here we go. This was a second class game. 372 spotting. That's it, guys. 2,600 damage. We did do four kills, though. And we're up top here along with the G-Sor. Uh, he had a very, very good game as well. And we made 98k, banked almost 13k into the credit reserve. And um, yeah, it was like a 10-minute battle. So it was actually a pretty close game. And we fired 17 shots. All the shots we hit, we penned, which is beautiful and always welcome, guys. And there you go. I hope this helps you out on Erlenberg. Guys, if you aren't subbed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and sub and follow the Twitch channel because I do um, streams on the weekends and sometimes during the weekdays. Um, and again, I hope that these videos are helping you out, guys. That is my goal. So that's it. I will catch you guys for the next one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye now.